Welcome to Black and White. I'm M. Davila, and today I want to talk to you about this famous American actor who was recognized for his bald head and also for appearing on the TV crime drama series from 1973 to 1978. So, grab your seat and enjoy. Sitting in Switzerland, a little golf in Scotland, sailing and fishing off the coast of Mexico, swimming in Hawaii, and on my way to that city by the bay with its restaurants and I'm beyond San Francisco. I decided to stop over in Duluth to catch my breath. But you know what? It took my breath away. I could have saved myself a lot of traveling. You know why? Because it's all right here, Duluth. His real name is Aristoteles Savalas, born January 21st, 1922, and he died January 22, 1994, known professionally as Telly Savalas, was an American actor whose career spanned four decades. Noted for his bald head and deep resonant voice, he is perhaps best known for portraying LT, Tio Koyak, on the crime drama series Koyak 1973-1978 and James Bond art villain Erm Stavro Blofeld in the film on Her Majesty's Secret Service, 1969. Savala's other roles include Birdman of Alcatraz, 1962, The Greatest Story Ever Told, 1965, Battle of the Bulge, 1962, The Dirty Dozen, 1967, Killing Heroes, 1970, Horror Express 1972, Lisa and the Devil 1974, and The Escape of Athena 1979. For Birdman of Alcatraz, he was nominated for the Academy Award and Golden Globe for Best Supporting Actor. As a singer, Savala released a cover of the Breast Song Eve, which became a UK number one single in 1975. The song also peaked at number 12 in Australia. My love for life is running dry. You come and pour. Aristoteles Savalas was born in Garden City, New York City. The second of five children born to Greek parents Christina Nye Kapsalis, an artist who was a native of Sparta, and Nick Savalas, a restaurant owner. Savalas and his brother Gas sold newspaper and polish shoes to help support the family. Savalas initially spoke only Greek when he entered great school but later learned English. He attended COVID junior high school in Lynn, Massachusetts. He won a spelling bee there in 1934. Due to an oversize, he did not receive his prize until 1991, when the school principal and the Boston Herald awarded it to him. Savalas graduated from Sawanaka High School in Flora Park, New York in 1940. A renowned swimmer, he worked as a beach lifeguard after graduation from high school. However, on one occasion, he was unsuccessful in saving a father from drawing. As he attempted resuscitation, the man's two children stood nearby crying for their father to wake up. This affected Savala so much that he spent the rest of his life constantly promoting water safety. And later met all six of his children take swimming lessons. In 1941, Savala was drafted into the United States Army. From 1941 to 1943, Savala served 
in Company C, 12 Medical Training Battalion, 4 Medical Training Regiment at Camp Pickett, Virginia. In 1943, he was discharged from the Army with the rank of Corporal after being severely injured in a car accident. Zavala spent more than a year recuperating in hospital with a broken pelvis, sprained ankle, and concussion. He then attended the Armed Forces Institute where he studied radio and television production. He received a bachelor's degree in psychology from Columbia's School of General Studies in 1946 and started working on a master's degree while preparing for medical school. After the war, he worked for the U.S. State Department as a host of the Your Voice of America series, then at ABC News. Hey, look, if you want to play Patsy in my neighborhood, that's all right, I can take care of you. But I don't like you being too close to my family. In 1950, Zavala hosted a radio show called The Coffee House in New York City. Zavala began as an executive director and then as senior director of the news special events at ABC. He then became an executive producer for the Gillette Cavalcade of Sport, where he gave Howard Cosell his first job in television. Zavala did not consider acting as a career until asked if he could recommend an actor who could do European accent. He did, but as the friend in question could not go, Zavala himself went to cover for his friend and ended up being cast on and bring home a baby. An episode of Armstrong Circle Theater in January 1958. He appeared on two more episodes of the series in 1959 and 1960, one acting alongside a young Sidney Pollack. He was also in a version of the Iceman Comet. Savala made his film debut in Mad Dog Call 1961, playing a cop. In one of his most acclaimed performances, Savala reunited with Lancaster and Frankenheimer for Birdman of Alcatraz in 1962, where he was nominated for the Academy Award and Golden Globe for Best Supporting Actor. The same year, he appeared as a private detective in Cape Fear, directed by Jay Lee Thompson, whom Zavala would work with in future films, and the in turn reprising his role from the later film in the new interns 1964. Savalas also guest star in a number of TV series during the decade including The New Breed, The Detective, Ben Casey, The Twilight Zone, the episode Living Doll, The Fugitive 1963 TV series, and Arrest and Trial, among others. Zavala died on January 22, 1994, one day after his 72nd birthday of complications of prostate cancer at the Sheraton Universal Hotel in Universal City, California. He had lived at the Sheraton in Universal City for 20 years, becoming such a picture at the hotel bar that it was renamed Telis. Zavala was interred at the George Washington section of Forest Lawn, Hollywood Hills Cemetery in Los Angeles, California. The funeral held in the St. Sophia Greek Orthodox Church was attended by his third wife, Julie, and his brother, Gus. His first two wives, Catherine and Marilyn, also attended with their own children. The mourners included Angie Dickinson, Nicolette Sheridan, Jennifer Aniston, his granddaughter, Kevin Sorbo, Sally Adams, 
Frank Sinatra, Don Rickles, and several of Zavala's joyas co-star Kevin Dobson, Dan Fraser, and Vincent Kohn. Well, what can I say about Telly Zavala's? Well, I can tell you that I'm impressed. This guy has a long career and also he's such a big achiever. But mostly I didn't know he was a singer. So I never heard a song from him, but now, now I was listening on YouTube his song, uh, If which became uh, number one in UK in 1975. I'm impressed. But even though he did so many movies, he always will be recognized for his TV series, Koyak. Until this time, people are still watching that uh, TV series. Okay guys, that's all for now. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, to give me a comment, to like, and to share. See you in my next video. We had the kind of friendship that nothing could ever break up. It lasted until he moved across the street.